So let's say I'm going to do a quick survey and I'm going to ask two questions. Are you left or right handed and are you male or female? Okay, and I am going to record the results and the results might look something like this. They might be uh, male left handed, male right handed, girl left handed, girl right handed, girl right handed, male left handed, etc. Okay, and I might record these results and then what I might want to do is I want to collate these results into a table. Now I'm not going to do a tally chart. What I'm instead going to do um, is go, or a frequency graph rather, frequency table. I'm going to introduce what is called a two-way table. So a two-way table will look something like this. So we're going to have left-handed, right-handed, male and female. So we've got the gender at the top and along the side we've got left-handed or right-handed. Okay. And then I go through, I could, I could do this as a tally, okay, as I go through, but let's say I've got quite a few results, and what I end up with is um, 30, um, 80, um, 100, and 35. Okay, so this is the data that I have, and you need to be able to read from this two-way table and identify um, how many females were left-handed. So what I do is I look down the female column and I look along the left-handed column, a uh, row, and it's where they cross, right, so 35 females were left-handed, 100 females were right-handed and so on and so forth. So it's quite, it's relatively easy to read from. But questions can then come from it. So, for example, um, um, what percentage um, of males were right-handed. Okay, so what percentage of males were right-handed? Now, it's very, very useful when you have a two-way table to add up the rows and the columns. So, for example, 30 and 80 is 110. 35 and 100 is 135. 30 and 35 is 65. 80 and 100 is 180. So the overall total, okay, could be found by adding up 65 and 180, or 110 and 135. So 245 people were asked, were part of this survey. So what percentage of males were right-handed? Well, there were 80 right-handed males. Out of 110. So 80 of the 110 males were right handed. And so what we need to do is convert this fraction into a percentage. So remember you do top divided by the bottom. So 80 divided by 110. And then multiply your answer by 100. And so what we get to the nearest percentage is 73%. Okay? So 73% of males are right handed. Let's ask another question. Um, okay, let's ask. Um, what percentage of people asked were left-handed? 
Okay? What percentage of people asked were left-handed? So, the number of people that were asked in total was 245. And of those 245, 65 were left-handed. So this is my fraction, 65 out of the 245 people. And you want to convert that into a percentage. So you do it exactly the same way, top divided by bottom, 65 divided by 245, and then multiply your answer by 100. And what we get is approximately 27%. So 27% 20, of the people that I surveyed were left-handed. Okay, And you can be asked multiple questions on the same two-way table. So make sure you're able to identify which bits you need. I've got to say, totaling up the rows and the columns is very, very useful. And it may well be that you answer one of the, net, the further down questions as part of that.